Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're going to talk about the Max Mustard Effect. Max Mustard is a highly anticipated VR platforming game that's coming to VR this month. I do have the game in my library. I have not had time to check it out yet, so I can't really say anything about the game. But from what I've been hearing in the grapevine, the game is really, really good. I've even heard rumours that the game is good, if not better, than Astro Bot. Astro Bot on the PlayStation VR 1 is probably the best platforming game in VR ever. If Max Mustard is going to be as good as what I'm hearing on the grapevine, then once you play the game, you're going to be craving for more of the same. Now, there are some really cool platforming VR games already. We've got Vex, we've got Lucky's Tail. But what comes after Max Mustard? I'm going to show you how to keep that Max Mustard vibe alive. And we're going to be playing flat games in VR with UEVR. That's Prey Dog's Unreal Engine Injector Mod that converts flat games into VR games that you can play in a VR headset. Today we're using the Quest 3. I'm going to jump into a game today. It's one of my favourite games on the PlayStation. I never understand why this game never got a VR version. After all, we did get Astro Bot, which worked perfectly. And like I said, Astro Bot is probably the best VR platformer ever. This PlayStation game has made its way onto PC. So today we're going to be playing the game on Steam. Okay, so let's run the game. Sackboy, a big adventure. Okay, so we're in the main menu. I'm now going to bring up the UEVR application. Go to my desktop. I'm using virtual desktop, so I'm going to select OpenXR, find the game, set boy. There's some conflicts, so we're going to see what the conflicts are. Okay, we've got Oculus there, look. An Oculus plugin here, so we're just going to rename this file to old. Now we can inject. And I'm in the world. Okay, that's really interesting. Okay, I'm in the world and it's really interesting how they put together this intro. The uh, Sackboy logo is in 3D. It's hanging down and it's about halfway between the robot and the background. I can see in front of me this big purple giant shape look and it curves towards me so the disco ball lights are on the floor and it's like a 3D floor. That little robot, he's now right in front of my face, he's about here. So the robot's about here, the logo is about here, I don't know if you can see my hand, the logo is there for me and then you've got all the other stars in the background. This looks stunning, this looks amazing. This feels like Astro Bot. He looks like Astro Bot. I'm going to try and play the game with the uh, motion controllers for the Quest 3. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to be using the Xbox controller. So press start. I'm going to go into the settings menu. The game's running at 4K. Graphics are on high. I'm going to play the game. Let's see how it handles. The 3D looks amazing. Okay, this is working. Now this is a previous saved game, so... I might need to go back to the uh, start of the game. A big adventure. The 3D world looks stunning, guys. Oh, this is incredible. Can you see what I can see? So I'm recording what I can see, look. And you have to remember, this is a, a 3D world. Very similar to how we're going to be playing Max Mustard. 
Very similar to how I play Lucky's Tale. Very similar to Vex. You can even see the animation in the clouds and the smoke effect. I can select different characters. I'm going to use the uh, robot guy because he feels more like Astro Bot. In front of me is like a, a two-dimensional picture, but the actual uh, main character there, he stands out in 3D. Oh, this looks incredible. Look at that rocket. Yeah, this looks amazing. So I feel like I'm standing in a real garden with the grass, the tent, the plants. Even the backgrounds look kind of realistic. In front of me is my main character, all in glorious 3D. And as you can see, it just works straight out of the box with UEVR, no messing. My gamepad is actually vibrating on my table, but it's working with the uh, motion controls. So how's the video for you guys? Is it nice and smooth? If you see a bit of a wobbliness look, that's just me moving my head. Normally it's like this, it's super smooth. If I talk, it wobbles. If I move my head, it wobbles. But in the headset, this is silky smooth. I might turn down the graphics so I get an even more smoother experience. Let me go into the UEVR menu. I'm going to do the virtual desktop fix. I don't know what that does. I'm going to set the standing height, set standing origin, recenter view. And that's all I need to do really. If I want to play around with the uh, quality of the graphics in UEVR, go to advanced options. Go down to console C bars. And normally down here you get to, you can make the game look sharper or blurrier. I'm going to turn down the screen percentage to about 80. That's going to give me a bit of a performance boost. It's already got a 2.0 sharpening look. I can play around with this to make it look even sharper. So the, uh, the icons that you can see are actually floating in front of my face. There should be an option in the UVR to move the hood icons. I'm quite fine playing the game like this. I love that parallax effect in the background, how it gets blurrier, the more further away it is. I'm going to go into the option menu. I'm going to turn down some graphics. Settings. I've got everything on the highest settings. Okay, I'm controlling my sack boy with my controllers, we can jump. I'm going to uh, grab all these. Punch him in the nose. Once you've played Max Mustard and you feel like you need to play a lot more of these games, there are plenty of games that I've played with UEVR that work perfectly, just like this game, straight out of the box, fantastic platforming type games. For example, you've got games like Crash Bandicoot 4, you've got Spyro, they just work.
this looks fantastic guys I can't stress enough how fantastic this looks in VR okay we have a new skin Okay, he wants me to jump into his petals. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, bad guys. What's that? Chameleon. There's a wooden chameleon running up the wall. And I do believe you get to see more detail in these games, playing them in VR, than you do normally on a flat screen. Okay, so that zooms me right into the character. Okay, we can pick these up and we can plant them. I would say this actually looks better and plays better than Astrobot. And Astrobot was amazing. Okay, so we need to plant acorns. Ah, uh, drop one. Grab all the goodies. I keep throwing them instead of dropping them. Okay, let me go down into the gardens. We can zoom in. See what's in there, look. Kill the toads. So this is a fresh install of the game as well. Look at the boots. <clears throat> I don't know why Sony never brought this game to PlayStation VR. It's perfect. And it just works. The 3D works. I don't know how to get up there though. Hello. And as you can see, it's in six stuff. Look, you can move into the world as well. Hello, birdie. Hold down the right trigger lock to grip onto items to hold on. Every now and then I'm hitting the secret button on the controllers which activate the D-pad mode. Uh, that's why every now and then look, you see him doing that. So that's me hitting the... Uh, there are sensors to the right of the buttons on the controller. When you put your thumb over it, it activates D-pad mode.
There's the acorn. Okay, we need to... So good. Even that light shaft is in 3D, it looks amazing. And you can just play this game for hours and hours just exploring the world lock. Look at that balloon over there in the distance. We're going in. Pop goes the weasel. You know what that is, don't you? And these cutscenes are in 3D as well. It's a dream. UEVR will let you even change the world scale. So you can make the world smaller or bigger. I've got a feeling I could go into like first person mode if I wanted to. I don't want to play the game first person mode, but I can experiment to see what it looks like. Okay, skip all that. So in the next world, we're going to go into first person mode. Have a complete. Even these effects are in 3D. But it really, really is stunning. We're going into the next level. Cold feet. There's a really nice sense of scale and depth as well with the world. And it's snowing, this is incredible. I have 3D snow. So on this level I can see the edge of the boundaries. This looks incredible though. Okay, let's kill these toads. And then we're going to experiment with first person mode. So if I hold down the uh, both thumbsticks, I've got the UEVR menu. Hold both grips on my right controller. I am now in camera mode. I can move the camera look. So physically I can go to first person mode around here somewhere. So that's me moving the camera first person mode. I can still see my character so not quite working as intended. Well, you get the idea. Okay, let me put the camera back to around here. Grab the key. You're going this way. I've actually moved the camera a bit closer to my main character as well. So if I do the camera again, look, I can zoom right out. See the whole world from here, look. I can play the game this way for one, but it's a bit blurry. Or I can go right into my character here.
slash the code. There is some weird blow effect though, this close, so maybe not so close to the character. Let me go back to around here, that's normal. There you go. He's nice and clear again. There's like a window there. Secret room in there. Find a secret. Okay, in we go. This 100% has given me Astro Bot vibe. there. Hello. This level is actually uh, better performance for me as well. So hopefully the uh, video should be recording a bit better. Nice and smooth. And as you can see, it's like a normal VR game. I can look around me. Look behind me. And I'm sure there's plenty of Unreal Engine games, platforming games on Steam. So just going to work out the box. Okay, let's go on here. He fell off. Try again. Ouch, we did. We died. We went to sack boy heaven. Try again. I can see you waving Mr. Yeti. There's snowflakes in front of my face, which is really cool. Try again. We made it. That's the long way down. Checkpoint. There's a secret door to my left. And these controllers are working perfectly. It feels quite natural. What's in here? It's like whack a mole. Okay, whack the moles and they drop coins. We did it. Thank you. I'm loving the music. Mm. 
Nice. Let's go, Mr. Plant. Whee! That's never going to get old. Look at these uh, icicle things. So UEVR does give you like six stuff. Got it. Bonus orbs here. So can we do the same on here? So far out of all the uh, platforming games I've played with UEVR, this is my favourite. It just works. Come on, up you go. Thank you. Cat point. I like the boots just hanging down. Bash him over the edge. Ouch. Dead again. So close to the end as well. See, normally you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see the backpack hanging down over the side there. Superb, guys. Really, really is. One hundred percent this is in my must play UEVR game. No messing, straight in the game, third person, 3D, just like a normal VR game. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. There's a taste of what games, the type of games you can play after you've finished Max Mustard. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>